Welcome to the Minimalist Wardrobe Challenge. I can only wear 10 pieces of clothing for one week. I can have five accessories between shoes and bags and three pieces of jewelry, which Rachel, I can tell you right now, is never gonna happen. The same rules apply for a micro wardrobe as they do to a macro wardrobe. What you want in your collection is color, pattern, texture, and shine. You want a dress or a jumpsuit that you can layer over or under in order to make that outfit go that extra mile and do double duty. This could, in fact, transition from day to evening, so that makes it something worth holding on to. This, I think, is a great option. It's lightweight, it's long-sleeved. I could wear this with flats, I could wear this with heels, I could wear this with my hair up or down, with minimal jewelry, and it could still look fancy. When it comes to choosing bags, the most important thing is there are some bags that will transition better day to night. I could wear this with a suit, I could wear it with an evening dress, so this is a good transition bag. Now, if I do three bags, that means I can only do two shoes. Rachel, how is this possible? Oh, we need a day shoe. I can do this here or here. So this is a pretty good option. This pink I really like a lot, and it's velvet and it's shiny, and that could be a nice evening option. They definitely look great here. They look a little weird with this pink. Already, already look, I'm already breaking all the rules. I'm at three bags and five pairs of shoes. Next, I know I'm gonna need a suit. The great thing about a suit is that you can break it up. So, if I choose a suit that I can mix with a different bottom or a different top, that's gonna give me extra mileage. I've already decided that I'm counting a suit as one, uh, so uh, if Rachel thinks that's two, I'm already in trouble. Finally, you have to have one neutral bottom because your tops are really what people are gonna notice more than your bottom. This I would wear with a white t-shirt and sandals during the day. Obviously, this is something that I could dress up for evening. This really is like a jigsaw puzzle. It's the first night of Fashion Week. People are gonna be decked out in their very best. Okay, I've chosen my 10 clothing items, three shoes and two bags, five rings and three earrings. I'm, I'm stressing out, like I, I feel like I'm getting high. She is a fashion design and style expert, and she was going to Fashion Week here in New York. That's an enormous pressure. Uh, I mean, you, you really care about what you look like for that. So well, we not yes. only made you do the minimalist challenge, but we did it during a very stressful time for you. So thank you. you know, you're, you're more than welcome, because <laughs> I kind of bailed, basically, yes. is, is how I dealt with the whole situation. I mean, I did run around to a ton of events, less shows than I thought I was going to get to go right, to. Right, right. I've just been so busy. 10 pieces actually took me a pretty long way. I narrowed it down. I did three pairs of shoes. It came down to three. The sneakers are one of them. That's why I'm wearing them today. Uh, a pair of sandals that were heels and a pair of flats. That's it. I did two bags and that was it. So, I wore less jewelry than I thought I was going to and I used every single piece. I will just say that I did wear these pants so many times that I did happen to tear them just like a smidge. I also you don't loved need. in watching you choose a minimalist um, program yep. for one week. I loved learning that if you're going to buy new things, buy things that are multi-purpose, that serve more than one purpose. You can wear several different ways. Yes, and another great tip for that is that if you're gonna buy something and you buy one piece instead of, I like to shop for things in outfits mm -hmm. because then I know I have something to wear. I can literally take it out of my closet and wear it. If I just buy a piece, like a top, and it doesn't go with anything in my closet, then I'm just, That's it's not just gonna purchase, sit there. It's not right, a smart purchase. Right. So make sure any item you buy goes with at least two things you already own. And keep it together. Yeah. Like, you know, if, if those are outfits, keep it together. It's easy to get right. Yeah, absolutely.